organizing my data. Does anybody have an idea? What should I do? Well, how, well what do I got to tally, first of all? OK, so how do I start to organize this? What do you mean, put them in order? Put the, put the what? Smallest to largest. OK, what's the smallest data value? OK, so 9 is the smallest data value. Is that right? OK, so I'll start with 9. And then, what's the largest? What's the largest? So the smallest is 9. And the largest is what? 51. OK. So that means I'm going to write down, we'll start with 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yikes. Then 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 25, um, maybe somewhere over here is 51. Is that right? 51 somewhere here? I don't know. Does anybody see a problem here? What's the problem? What's the problem? Too much of a gap. Do you guys want to know what we mean by gap? We have a definition of what's known as the range of a data set. So this definition applies to a set of data. It's defined to be the range. The range is simply the largest data value minus the what? Smallest data value. Okay. So what's happening now then is the largest data value here is 51. So this is 51 minus 9. Who can tell me what the range is? What's your range in data? What is it? 42. The range is 42. Now note, note, the example when you're asked the question, the number of children, how many children do you have? What was the range there? Anybody know? What was the largest data value in the previous example? Three. Good. What was the smallest? So then 3 minus 0 gives us what? Gives us 3. OK? So the previous example gave us a range of 3, which really gave us four rows in our frequency table. Is that true? The problem here is the range is large. The range here is 42, which means I'm going to have 43 rows. OK, you guys OK with that? OK, well, that's a problem. That's going to be a problem for us. Because our eyes really don't like to look at rows of information. We sort of tune out when we see, you know, if we looked at 40, well, how many? 43 rows, we're going to tune out. And we're, just going to, we're not going to be interested. It's not going to have meaning, much meaning for us. Do you guys agree with that? So what we're going to have to do in this situation is we're going to have to create what's known as bins. Okay, We're going to create bins. And let's stop and think for a second about the word bin. Where have you heard that word bin before? Anybody hear of the word bin? The, can, you, can, can you guys, when you guys leave, be sure, you see, we got water, I got potato chips, Starbucks, apple juice, cookies. What else do we have back there? Spaghetti, turkey. Make sure you throw away your what? Trash in the trash bin, in the bin. So what does that bin hold? Trash. Is that right? Do you guys see that bin over there? Holds trash. So what is bin, what, what are bins again? They're containers that hold things. Is that right? So what we're going to do here to organize our data, we're going to create bins 
to store data values. So the science of creating bins and going through that is a little involved. We're going to talk about it, but I'm just going to give you an example of it first. Uh, because today, you know, we have a short day only because we had to talk about the syllabus, do a lottery, and yada, yada. Okay? So it's sort of a shorter day. Um, but let's talk about this thing called bins. And I'm going to use the language of bins because I'm just used to using it. Okay? So we're going to use this language bins. So we're going to create bins to store our data values. So if I, if I look at this, I'm going to go through this calculation and I'll, I'll talk more about it in the future. Okay? But I'm going to go through something like this. I'm going to say, hmm, how do I do this? The number of, hmm, what is that relationship again? We have our range divided by the number of bins that we want. This is approximately the, the bin width or the class width, fine. Okay, and so if my range is, what's the range? 42, and maybe I want, oh, seven, no, I want six bins. 42 divided by six will be approximately seven, so the class width is seven, or the bin width is seven. We'll talk more about it, so even though you look at this and you don't know what I'm doing, that's okay, you will eventually. So here's what I'm going to do. I have a value for bin width of seven. When I organize my data now, age, I'm going to start with the smallest data value or actually a convenient value smaller than the, the, the smallest data. And so I have this smallest data value of 9. I guess I can start with a 9, OK? That's fine. We're going to start with 9 as my smallest data value. Can you guys tell me? What's 9 plus 7? 9 plus that 7 is what? 16? OK. So I'm going to do this. 9 to 15. What's 16 plus 7? It's supposed to say 23. OK. What's 23 plus 7? 30. What's 30 plus 7? What's 37 plus 7? 42. How many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, you see that 15? Isn't that one less than 16? So what I'm going to do is 